Well, today we're looking at a, an unusual figure, a Tron figure, but it's not a sort of standard Tron figure. This is one that's available only from uh, Disney, from uh, the Magic Kingdom, uh, and it was sort of uh, added as part of their Tron ride. So it was recently there, didn't go on Tron. Not a great fan of roller coasters like that. Um, but the Tron merchandise shop is really good. Um, lots and lots of stuff there that's unusual. Being out at my chat. What's up? You didn't go, did you? No. She's happy that we're back though. And one of the things they're offering is a uh, you can you can customize your own Tron figure and have yourself in the suit. Um, and it's very very well done the way they do it. So you you basically you pay your money. Uh, and it was $89, like everything at Disney, it's a little bit expensive, but you're paying for the the experience as much as the final product, I think. Um, so the sequence is you have to uh, stand in a booth. Uh, it's all it's all done sort of in character, so they give you this like identity card, and you have to go into this themed booth, uh, and you talk to all this software and run through it and you have to do different expressions and they take photographs of you and you have to record up to six different phrases from Tron. You can only say the phrases, they won't allow you to deviate from them, just in case I suppose anyone swears or does anything else. Um, you get to choose, you get multiple recordings, I think three up to three different times if you don't like it. Uh, and then they take your details and you come back after about an hour and a half and there's a special booth where your figure rises up out of the middle of the booth it's very very well done everyone chaps and uh, claps and cheers you um and then you can pick your figure up and it comes in this amazing tron arcade machine box and this is real thick styrene plastic uh, it comes with this little joystick uh, buttons don't do anything. I wish they'd have tied this into the figure talking and uh, you can see the figure in there when it comes up through the The table it's all lit up and it's talking. It's great. It really is uh, well done <coughs> Pardon me 25 cents. I wish uh, so Disney and like I say this the housing alone is really well done instructions for changing the batteries um, Various different bits and bobs and it looks like the arcade machine uh, and the way it opens is on the back there's a little twist plug which uh, is in my suitcase somewhere I've got to find it out and then this lifts up hold on a second sorry about that uh, my GoPro is uh, was flat when I came back so I'm having to charge it so I'm using my phone I've got no tripod for it uh, so the back opens up and then the top opens up and then it opens up like a a flower and your figures there um, and the figure is about 10 inches tall it's fully jointed um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get him off the backing card and show you so the good thing is the straps that he comes in are quite stretchable so you can take him in and out um, so you get to choose the helmet there's four three or four different styles of helmet I thought this one looked nicest um, you get three or four different body styles ranging from very thin to very muscular. I went with sort of mid. Uh, you can also choose male or female. Different sets of arm, shoulder armor, uh, and then different uh, patterns of lights. Um, I haven't seen the film, the, the new one, newish, whenever it was out a couple of years back. I remember the original but they were very different suits. The figure is actually really well articulated so he's got uh, bends at the elbows, the, the hands are swivel bend joints, the head doesn't move for obvious reasons in a second, um, he's got ball jointed uh, hips, uh, cut joints on the, uh, the legs, cut and swivel, cut and swivel on the thing, so very very poseable. Um, you get included in the price a data chip, uh, which I think is that bar there, um, and you can put that in other so once you've done this, you can buy other figures to put it in. So you have one on a motorbike and things like that. Or you can change, you can buy the film character chips if you want, put them in. Or if you know someone that's got their own chip, they can go in. And then basically what happens is you've got a button on the front there. I fight for the users. 
so you uh, I don't know if you can see how well it's coming out on camera so there's a little digitized image of yourself and you've got to do various faces with like mouth closed mouth smiling mouth open um, I didn't think it would come out particularly well because I kept my glasses on and it says you can take them off if you want but I thought that's going to be the most recognizable part of me um, and I think it's come out really well the the lip thinking is basic and you see the lights all flash and glow see you on the grid. it does look a little bit like a terry gilliam animation i probably overemphasize the mouth open um but i, I really like i'm not your average program greetings user and then it all flashes um like i say you can change the chip but yeah so there's six different phrases see you and it's random. I fight for the users. End of line. But uh, yeah, so you get your own unique figure. Um, and uh, you get all this nice Tron stuff as well. So I thought it was very good. Um, a little bit expensive, but you're paying for the experience. It's, it takes you a couple of hours to do it. Um, there is no line for them, as you can imagine. Um, and then after a couple of minutes, the lights go off and the face shuts down reminds me of maybe there used to be a robocop talking robocop that had an lcd face but it works quite well with the curve of the helmet I fight for the, users. Um, the light levels keep changing in the the booth you're in as well so um, i think with a bit of practice you could make this work really well um, but you only get like say three chances you don't know what you're doing at the time um, although the cast members are really helpful when they run through it and they sort of stay in character um, but yeah I'm really glad I had it done I got my own figure now and it was a lot cheaper I think than that Ghostbusters one they did where they just scanned your face um, but yeah very good um, like I say I'm not really into Tron but a, a nice souvenir but uh, if you want to see more American stuff, let me know. <coughs> Pardon me, I caught a lurgy on the plane, of course, coming back. Um, so I've got a very sore throat. Hopefully not COVID, don't think so. But uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you can, and I'll see you again next time. End of line. Uh, that was random, and that worked well. End of line. <laughs>